So I've been playing Skyrim for some time now and something I've noticed through all these years is how no matter what I'm feeling or what time of year I always end up with the same playthrough. I pretty much always prefer the Stormcloaks over the Imperials, I ignore the companions and their annoying questline, I look for different ways to kill Nazim and of course I always make sure to deliver that thick mammoth's tusk to Yasolda's fine ass. But one thing I think you all can relate to is that no matter how hard I try to make use of those other playthrough styles, I always end up with the notorious Stealth Archer. What can I say? The satisfying feeling of lining up that perfect long shot on a moving target never gets old. Wood Elves are for the most part my preferred race for this kind of playthrough. I mean, not only are they elves, they don't go around bitching on other people and their lifestyles, and they're, well, I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but they also don't look like they've finally gotten out of their caves after years of isolation, binging all the season of Friends on Netflix a thousand times while eating nothing but really, really dark chocolate and licorice. And also, I'm probably not the only one who's noticed this, but when it comes to the elves of Skyrim, it seems to me like the Altmer and Dunmer have been getting all the love for some time now. Yeah, I know that the Bosmer are primarily focused on taking care of their homeland of Valenwood and to be one with nature and everything, but when playing Skyrim, I feel like the Wood Elves have so much more to give. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, we are continuing on our path to adjust the races of Skyrim to their proper forms. So for this second video, I'm gonna show you various mods that'll turn the race of the Bosmer into what it should be. Okay, I got a lot of goodies to show you guys, so let's just start off with a couple of mods to overhaul the entire race of the Wood Elves and how you use them in your future adventures in Skyrim. First up, we got the very popular mod that most of you have probably seen before, Imperious Races of Skyrim. This mod aims to make the races of Skyrim unique and diverse by overhauling racial abilities, powers and stats. These changes actually make you feel as though you're playing as a Bosmer instead of just another generic character. This is how the stats are gonna look when starting out to your Bosmer playthrough. It also adds three new abilities. First of all, there's Green Pack, which is ritual cannibalism and is a great distinction for the race, and lore friendly. Yes, my friend, you heard that right. Be a true Bosmer follower of the Green Pack and eat the meat of your enemies. Do not kill wastefully. By eating the corpses of your enemies, you'll also gain a percentage of their attributes. There's also Wild Senses, allowing you to detect moving targets while standing still when sneaking, giving you that much needed advantage for your next hunt. Lastly, you also get something called Harrier at your disposal, a spirit bird that marks animals to kill for bonus loot as well as weakening your enemies in battle. Think of it as a headwig to your harry. Now if you manage to complete a small little race task you'll also be rewarded with beast tongue. No, no, I'm not talking about that kind of beast tongue you pervert. I'm talking about the ability to call to a nearby predator making it a permanent ally until released. Do you remember the wood elf with the small nubs on his forehead in Morwen? No? Yeah me neither. But this mod author certainly does and he wonders what happened to the horny wood elves he had come to love. It took many years but they were reintroduced in the Elder Scrolls Online. So with the mod Bosmeri Antlers ESO, you'll get to either obtain equipable horns or real authentic horns for the Bosmer only. Just select them in the scar selection. I must say that the antlers look great. I mean, I don't know, they're antlers. All jokes aside, it gives the race something special to look more different from the other elves. It makes them look more connected to nature and animalistic. Who knows, maybe you're into this kind of stuff. Just look at them pointy ends. God damn! Following along the path of not wasting anything from nature, a very important vision for many wood elves, we got the mod Hunter Born SE. Hunting is an integral part of Bosmer lifestyle. This is a mod that changes the simple routine of the lackluster hunting in Skyrim into something more immersive. After going into the wild, tracking down your next target and sinking an arrow into its skull, you'll now be faced with the option to either pick up the entire carcass, take it back to camp or dress it. After dressing a carcass, you'll be able to skin it, harvest its ingredients, butcher the meat and then finally dispose yourself of it, not leaving any part of the animal to waste. But what am I going to use all of this stuff for, you may ask? Well, you can craft new hunting knives, make some new potions, and make some delicious new foods from the recipes. You'll also develop your hunting skills, giving you new abilities like sensing direction, learning extra effects from ingredients, searching the surrounding terrain, and crafting new items. There really isn't a better way to immerse yourself into the world of a wood elf than going out into the wilderness hunting and scavenging, truly becoming one with nature. There's also three hidden quests that unlock unique 
abilities, but sadly I'm too lazy and impatient to find and complete these, but hey, I guess that just gives you a better reason to go download a mod for yourselves. Next up we got the mod, the Noril Reborn, a Ranger and Druid themed mod. Originally this was a race mod introducing the Druid race of the Noril, but luckily for us this mod makes your abilities available for any race. These are abilities suited for any Ranger and Druid lover, and of course the Bosmer, as they've gotten some of their famous powers from nature, similar to the Druids. The mod adds 22 new spells and powers like transformations and summons as well as 3 artifact weapons, glowing eye texture and more. All of this is conveniently spread throughout the world of Skyrim, so you'll have to set on quite the adventure to many different locations. As you can see, I found some stuff in Bleakfell's Barrow, including the aesthetically pleasing Primal Skin ability, an aura type ability that grants an enhancement to archery one handed and sneaking. It just couldn't fit the race of the Wood Elves any better. The transformations are especially interesting. If you read into the Bosma lore, you probably know about the Wild Hunt. They had the ability to shift into a pack of forest demons and animal gods, sweeping through the countryside, killing everything in its path. Although most bossmen choose not to talk about the hunt, I bet some like to feel that power without going completely mental. Transformations like the back and echo provided by this mod does that really well, and it looks really cool. I eventually decided to venture out to this beast I'd heard of and try and get its powers, but let me just warn you before you do the same. You better be fucking prepared, buddy. It's basically impossible to kill this thing. Trust me, you'll die a lot. So I suggest relying on some hidden powers if you know what I mean. After defeating it, you will be able to transform into that very monster yourself, the Titan. Going around causing havoc in this form feels so freaking good, and it's a good reminder of the Bosmer's might and power to all of Tamriel. Now, if you're a real fashionista, then you've probably noticed the various gorgeous looking outfits throughout this video. For a proper Bosmer playthrough, you can't just be a wood elf, you gotta present yourself as a wood elf. And since Bethesda never bothered to add any Bosmer armor or outfits into vanilla Skyrim, here's some mods that'll do just that, starting with Bosmer Armor Pack, a lore friendly armor pack containing 5 sets with 29 armor pieces and 6 weapons. The first 3 outfits can be crafted anywhere. These are the Bosmer Plain Armor, a light armor, Bosmer Reinforced Armor, which is a heavy armor, and the Bosmer Elder Armor, created from the finest animal hides with patterns showing the Bosmer's deep connection to Valenwood and Ifre. The last two are the Bosmer Wild Hunt Armor and Bosmer Wild Hunt Light Armor. These cannot be crafted as you'll have to take on the Champion of the Hunt. Rumor has it that many a traveler has locked eyes with the Champion of the Hunt, only to be removed from the mortal world, never to gaze on anything else. This is a quest-like task and it'll take a lot to complete it. Alright, I think it's up here. Oh no, there's a bear, there's a bear. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. damn! Oh. Okay, let's try that again. This time I'm going straight for the boss. Fuck! Come on, stay back, stay back. Oh, come on, there's so many. All right, all right, I got him this time. He's barely got any health. No, 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 no! <laughs> you know what? You ask for this. All right, come on, let's go. Uh, uh, what are you gonna do now, boy? What are you gonna do now? Oh, shit, we got him, we got him. No, no, no! <laughs> No, I was so close to killing him. I gotta get back up. Come on. If my follower kills him, then I'm gonna be so pissed off. I worked so hard for this. No! Oh my god! Serena, how could you? How could you do this to me? It was my kill! I don't give a fuck. The next armor mod is a simpler one. Bosmer Ceremonial Armor SSE CBBE Body Slide adds a beautifully detailed armor design for your Bosmer character. It can be crafted at any forge as long as you've attained the glassmithing perk. The armor itself is gorgeous with that green color and ornaments to show off for your connection to Valenwood. It also comes in different colors as well as a more skimpy version if you're interested in that. DX Druid Armor UNP is the next armor mod. Now don't let the name fool you, it's not just for UNP bodies. Look under the requirements tab and you'll also find a CBBE body slot conversion of the mod, so it can be enjoyed by all. You'll find the crafting manual inside Elder Gleam Sanctuary. As I read through the stuff needed in these pages, I quickly thought, fuck, this is gonna take some time, but do not worry everyone, because in the end, it'll be worth it. Every single texture has been handmade as you can see when admiring the boot- uh, I mean, I mean the outfit, when admiring the outfit. You can choose between stuff like panties and length of the skirt to fit all your desires. Oh, and there's a bow that matches with the armor. As always, when roaming the vast lands of Skyrim, you'll need some new bossman companions to accompany you. First up is Lilissa the Druid custom voice standalone follower. You'll find her eagerly waiting for you in Elder Gleam Sanctuary. She's a fully standalone custom follower using the Rose open source voice set by Kikiapolis, meaning she comes with location aware comments. Lilissa Snowflower is a Bosma priestess of Kinnereth with a spell sword like combat style.
style. She comes with her own outfit and own spells, and she wants to show all of this off by joining you for your future adventures, so don't hesitate to download this mod. If you want a more rough kind of companion, then go for the mod TDN followers Cayenne Bosmer Shaman by the Nightshade. Cayenne is a Bosmer Shaman with a unique set of equipment and spells who can be found at the Dead Man's Drink in Falkreath. His background of Valenwood is truly showcased in the way he looks and dresses. His entire body is fully covered with mysterious markings that will make the mightiest of men think twice before attacking. Get these two follower mods and you'll never feel like a lonesome wood elf in the world of Skyrim ever again. To end off the video, I'll introduce you to some mods that will add some wood elf flavor to your playthrough. To begin with, you'll need a cozy little player home to retreat to when wanting to take a break from your adventures. Here is Falcon Roost SE, a cozy player friendly tree house home located at the mouth of a waterfall. Nestled among trees, it may be small, but it has all your necessities. Unlike some of the more grandiose player homes that can be found, Falcon Roost is small, cozy and simple. The home has cooking facilities, a double bedroom and a modest storage. Outside it is equipped with crafting and alchemy stations, a small vegetable garden area, hard fire planters and a stunning mountain view overlooking Skyrim. You'll never get bored of taking a seat and grabbing a glass of wine and some ale, or even skooma, I don't know, who am I to judge? But what I'm trying to say here is that even though the player home looks small and simple, it offers a lot in terms of atmosphere. And what is even a wood elf supposed to do with a grand mansion of the gods? They're simple folk who like to stay in touch with nature, and that is what this mod offers. If some Bosmer followers and a small player home isn't enough for you, then I got something a little bit more expansive. This is Elvenwood, a large treehouse settlement located between Falkreath and Helgen. Constructed a long time ago by some Bosmer travelers, it is a sight to behold, and you'll feel right at home. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Bosmers aren't permitted to build things with wood, right? Well, the Green Pact prohibits the use of any wood or vegetable matter of Valenwood as building matters. This implies that foreign wood can be used. So yeah, that's that. The mod includes resident wood elf NPCs including merchants and stores like a bow shop in a cave beneath the settlement. It also has its own inn as well as a purchasable player house with all the essentials you need. The house is simple and cozy, just as it should be. The storage room is located at the very top with plenty of room for all your items. This mod truly gives you, as a Bosmer, a place where you can truly feel at home. And again, let's not forget about the magnificent views from the top. Last up we got a weird one, and I'm not sure if I even know what it is. Here's the World Tree of Skyrim, the underground city of the Bosmers SE. Near the western watchtower of Whiterun you'll see a lot of horses running around. As you continue in the direction they're coming from, you'll see a small house. In the small house there'll be a dog and a woman named Kara. Now the small house really is a small house. There's some pictures on the wall that'll transport you into different places. But if you open a small door, you get into one of the most trippy places you'll ever see. There's walking mushrooms big walking mushrooms, unicorns, fairies, and for some reason a giant murderous gorilla named Kong. At the center you'll see the world tree, consisting of small Bosmer houses integrated into its vines like you'd see in Valenwood. From my guess the world tree is meant to be a Skyrim version of Yggdrasil from Old Norse mythology, the very center of everything. This probably explains why there are various gateways that will teleport you to different places in the world of Skyrim. All in all, the mod consists of a huge tree, 9 houses, 21 Bosmer companions, as well as many other creatures to be used as followers. Alright, so it's time to wrap this thing up. I just want to say thank you if you made it this far into the video. You know, generally, my, my latest videos have been doing really well, so I just want to thank you all for that. And if you like this one as well, you know the drill. Like the video, subscribe for more content, comment, you know, let me know your opinions on the video. And with that, I'm Sergeant Kimlinio, and I'm out.